can see all the pink lights and the pink ribbons, and they even have their scarecrows dressed in pink. This parking lot is about to be filled with people getting ready to get their COVID-19 vaccination. And because of what's going on in nursing homes is why she's so passionate about finding a possible solution to the virus. And I just want to show you some of the damage that was done to one of the cars that was involved in the incident. You know, I just checked my KOMU8 weather app and it says it's 13 degrees out, but it feels like zero. But this morning it was full as Missourians were watching Governor Mike Parson take his oath to start his first full term as governor. Skip was wheeled out of those doors behind me to a lot of applause for a battle that he won that started almost three months ago. Governor Mike Parson and Democratic challenger Nicole Galloway took turns singling each other out. That's an increase of seven degrees times eight would be a 56% increase to your monthly bill. Basically, I watch over all of the medical charts and oversee the director's duties. Stephanie Easley works for Valley Park Retirement Center. What's your favorite part of your job? Probably seeing my residents every day. She's seen what COVID can do at their sister facility in Montauk County. I don't think anyone was ever prepared for what we've seen and what started to happen with COVID. And the promises of an effective vaccine. It's said to be nearly 95% effective. We want to get it approved as quickly as we possibly can. I felt that I needed to make a decision and I felt like doing this research and doing the vaccine that would benefit everybody. She got the first injection in September after researching the vaccine process a few months. It felt like a flu shot. After that second injection, she says she started feeling some mild symptoms like a headache, fatigue, and a low-grade fever. Throughout the day, I was feeling those same signs and symptoms. She said the clinic in Chesterfield was very helpful for those who were participating. I feel that the clinical research group in Chesterfield went over and beyond to explain the whole process to us. She agreed to share her story with us for a specific reason. I wanted people to understand that the vaccine could and should possibly work. Jordan, the Capitol lawn looks empty right now, but this morning it was full as Missourians were watching Governor Mike Parson take his oath to start his first full term as governor. I am honored to stand before you today as the 57th governor of the great state of Missouri. Governor Mike Parson took his official oath of office Monday, surrounded by members of the General Assembly, his family, and citizens of Missouri. Three things he discussed were COVID-19, law enforcement, and education. So we still got to deal with COVID-19. That liability is still out there. That's so real. Uh, I'm thankful the vaccine uh, process is going well. The legislative session starts. We go back to the things that uh, is what got us here today. Uh, workforce development, infrastructure, some of the things that we know we got to prove on health care. As of Monday afternoon, the governor said more than 150,000 vaccines have been administered in Missouri. Governor Parson also talked about law enforcement discussions being brought up during the General Assembly this year. You know, I, th I think as we move forward when it comes to law enforcement issues, what we've learned from this summer, there needs to be discussion about that. And I think there will be, uh, I hope, to be a lot of discussion about that and figure out where we are going in the future. He also brought up education for children in the state. It's about making sure every kid has an opportunity to an education, regardless where you live. If you keep doing things the way we've been doing it for decades, you're going to get the same response. Governor Parson plans to give us more details on phase 1B of COVID vaccinations next week. Reporting live at the state capitol, I'm Marina Silva, KOMU 8 News.
did get up with a few cold sense, cold like symptoms and decided that maybe because we are out among the public so much, I should be tested. First Lady Teresa Parson took a COVID-19 test this morning, which came back positive. Her husband, Governor Mike Parson, also tested positive today. Governor Parson posted this to his Facebook account, saying he plans on working while in isolation. Uh, I'll have to continue working here from the mansion to be able to do my daily dues, which I plan on doing. We are just a few weeks away from the November governor election, but for now, that in-person campaigning will be on hold and his staff will need to get tested. Dr. Williams said they are working with the Cole County Health Department on contact tracing. But it was important to the governor and the first lady to announce this news to be transparent about their situation. Normally, the identity of COVID-19 patients is kept a secret due to medical privacy rules. Governor Parson is the second governor to test positive. Oklahoma's governor was the first. So we are working with them and their staff to determine close contacts, by definition, of, of those who've been around them who need to be in quarantine. In his Facebook video, Governor Parson said his main concern is for his wife. I just appreciate it right now. My concern is the First Lady, her health.